So we just got the Sony a7S and I must say that it is incredible so far. We just wanted to demonstrate how amazing it is in low light. I'm being lit uh, just with the screen of a phone. And uh, this phone is set to its brightest setting at the moment, but it's just the home screen. There are no other lights on in this room and uh, it is nighttime. So if it weren't for the screen, in fact, if I turn the screen away from me, I can't see a thing in this room. The screen just dims, so I'll just tap it again. Um, so this gives you a good idea of how sensitive the Sony a7S is. Um, we are just going to do now a sensitivity test to look at ISO versus um, how much light we need at each level and also to balance it with the amount of noise because we're going to go into a production with this camera and we want to know what's a usable amount of light, uh, what's a very usable and practical ISO that we can shoot at. Um, it's very exciting to be able to shoot so much into the darkness. This is incredible. This is now ISO 1000. What we're doing is we're trying to keep the exposure pretty much the same just by metering this sort of bright spot behind me on the wall. Uh, so we're metering that at uh, 1.3. Uh, gray should be zero and my face should be pretty much at zero too. Um, so we're going to be changing lighting as we go up in ISO. This is ISO 1250. We are at f4, 150th of a second. And again, we've just adjusted the lighting to make sure that gray is at zero. Over here, my face is at about zero, and the back there is uh, 1.3. This is ISO 1600, and apparently we didn't have to change very much. The back was the same, just had to change the light on the, this gray card a little bit, uh, just uh, to dial it down. That was about it. And we are now at ISO 2000. So we just had to adjust both lights now in the front, uh, light at the back to maintain our exposure ratio. This should be well exposed. Let's see if there's any noise. This is 2500 ISO. Again, we're at F4, 1 50th of a second. And we've just adjusted all the lights down um, to match exposure. So this should be well exposed. There should be very little noise. This is ISO 3200. Um, uh, once again, we had to reduce lights on both sides um, and the back to match exposure. We're hoping to shoot around this range. This is a nice sort of lighting um, for our actors. In fact, we'd like to have less lighting if possible <laughs> than this. Now, just as a bit more of a um, info about this setup. We have no overhead lights at all. The entire room is completely dark. We have two LEDs in front here and just well, oh, one LED back there and of course that lamp in the back corner. Okay, we're currently at ISO 6400 and the lighting we have now is quite comfortable. So what we aim to get is a nice balance between the amount of light we've got and the ISO and of course noise. And we have a very comfortable setup here in terms of how bright it is for the actors and how comfortable it will be for them to act with or even presenters or hosts. Um, lighting in the back is really, really dim. These are very comfortable, as I said, but uh, let's see if we can push it even further. We're now at ISO 8000, and this is even more comfortable in terms of lighting for the actors. It's very soft, two tiny LED lights in front of me. Um, very, very dim lighting at the back. Of course, the, uh, uh, our little lamp at the back corner, we can't change, so that's increasing in uh, intensity as we go up the ISOs. Um, we should be well exposed still. Uh, very comfortable sort of lighting for actors, I would think.
We are now at uh, ISO 12800, which is a crazy, crazy ISO to be shooting at on any other camera except for this one. Um, we've adjusted these two lights down and they're very dim right now. Very, very, very comfortable for actors to work with. And the backlight is at its lowest setting, so we can't go any lower. So it's now uh, reading 1.7 above zero. Um, but we should be uh, exposed well. This is ISO 20,000 and it's starting to get quite dim. In fact, I wouldn't really read under this light. I can't actually see anything beyond the lights. Um, yeah, it's pretty dark. And yet apparently I should be well exposed at zero. The same as this gray stripe here. The back is a little bit over what we wanted it to be because we can't go any lower on that light. Um, yeah, is this usable? We are now at 25,600 and uh, we're going to push it until we get to the lower limit of these dials on the lights, the LED lights that we have. Um, the back is now at 2 over 0 and uh, we're hoping that there's still manageable noise. Um, this is 32,000 ISO. I'm, uh, I'm actually struggling to see things around me a little bit, but I have bad eyesight anyway. Apparently the back is now a little bit overexposed and uh, yet we are okay. It's very, very dim. I don't think this is practical to work in, in fact. <laughs> And this is ISO 51200, um, our tiny little LED um, lights, which are about this big, are both on their minimum. And they're about three or four feet away from me on this side. Uh, this one's about six foot or six feet away from me there. Um, the back is, as I said before, on its lowest setting and it's way too bright. Apparently this looks good in the monitor, but we'll have to see if there is much noise in the background. And we're probably going to stop the test here at 80,000 because most people say that after this it's uh, quite noisy. Um, we're going to see for ourselves. We are apparently well exposed here for grey and my skin um, in the back. We are a little bit over uh, one LED light here that I'm blocking, uh, just about four feet away. And now it's uh, this light is about almost eight feet away from me. It's a tiny little LED panel now on its lowest setting. So it's so dim that I would not be able to read. Well, why not push it? We have pushed it to 102,400. Now both lights, uh, one is about six feet away. That's now nine feet away. And uh, they're tiny. They're on its lowest settings. Um, let's see if this is usable. And this is 160,000 ISO. So apparently I can't be seen with the naked eye. There are two lights about 10 feet now uh, in front of me. Uh, I feel already that there is more light coming from behind me than in front of me. It's really dark here. I absolutely can't read or anything. And apparently, yeah, from that side of camera, Apparently I'm in the dark. And this is 256,000 ISO. We've had to uh, turn the lights now towards the walls of the room because we can't get the lights any further back and we can't dim the lights any further. It's very, very dark right now. Um, but we, we want to see how, how much this camera can see in the dark.
And this is the very last ISO setting, 409,600 with both our tiny little LEDs um, about 10 or 11 feet away from me in front of, and pointed towards the wall so that there isn't direct light on me. Apparently I am in complete darkness to the naked eye and there's more light coming from behind me from that one LED and a little lamp in the corner. Let's see if this is at all usable. <laughs>